The topic of health care pushes buttons for me. I am a stay-at-home mother of a single-income family of four living in New Jersey. My husband is a hard worker, and he's worked at the same company now for several years, which carries our health insurance. And we pay a lot in insurance premiums for an insurance policy that largely does not provide for the medical needs of our family. I'm going to focus on just one of our two children. My oldest son is autistic. He has autism spectrum disorder. Now, autism is a medical diagnosis, but it happens to be a real curse when it comes to health care and insurance. To say that families with autism have been discriminated against in terms of insurance coverage for therapies and treatment is a vast understatement. Our kids get diagnosed by doctors, but since insurance doesn't cover their therapies, such as um, ABA, speech, occupational, and physical therapy, we have had to turn to our school districts largely as our providers. In the case of our family and many others, this has meant uprooting our family, an interstate move, job changes. I did all this, by the way, while I was pregnant with my second child. It was not fun, and I really do not recommend it. So fast forward a few years later, last week on Thursday, August 13, 2009, Governor John Corzine signed Bill S-1650, A-2238, into effect in the state of New Jersey. Under the new law, insurance companies now have to provide coverage for medically necessary autism therapy, up to $36,000 annually for a child with autism under the age of 21. Coverage will inc include ABA, Applied Behavior Analysis which is recognized as an effective evidence-based treatment for children with autism. This is a step in the right direction for insurance and health care in the state of New Jersey. Is it a miracle cure or a band-aid? It's a step in the right direction. Will schools now feel at liberty to cut back on provisions to kids with autism and give less help because of the New Jersey insurance reform? I hope not, but possibly. This is, this is a concern for families like mine in the state of New Jersey. So that's what's going on in New Jersey. Now let's look at the big picture at USA. How will Obama's health care reform affect families with autism like mine? I, I don't know, but what I do know is that the current costs of health care for our family, which include basic needs, medical, prescription, vision, and dental, Costs are pretty average, one in 150 kids, average, family, far too much. Now, I know I'm not alone in sharing. Our family is struggling as a result of it. For that reason and for the fact that my kids deserve better, I wanted to change. And I, I'm not just talking about my child with autism. I'm also talking about my other child, my typical child, who, who deserves just as much as her brother. He has more medical needs, but... I've had to be in a position to look at, okay, well, does one child go to the doctor or does the other child get therapy? You shouldn't have to be basing what medical treatment our child gets based on which we can afford to pay for. You know, playing the devil's advocate, some might say the problem is that people who have the power to change this health care reform, the government and the healthcare industry, they're the same people who are making our kids sick. Well, for starters, through the greedy mandate of untested and dangerous vaccinations into the body of our nation's infants and developing youth. Here in New Jersey, they actually mandate more vaccines than any other place in the world. Coincidentally or not, our state also has the highest autism rate in the nation or one of them. Now, in defense of New Jersey, we also have an amazing school program that many families, including mine, have moved here for school and therapy services because that would be provided to our kids. Because, why? Because the medical and healthcare industry failed us in the first place. But these school services are cut year after year as our nation of sick children get older and older and the needs of our children only will continue to grow. So, I digress. Do I think government health care reform will bail us out, or could it cause more problems? I don't know, but for the sake of our children, something, anything has to change.